I'll do this. Uh, it'll be a brief version of the story. And I'll start. Jesse will translate exactly what I do in English. A long time ago, or as we say in Abenaki, no what? A, a long time ago, Glus Gomba was out walking around. No what? The talker Pomosat. As he was walking around, he got an idea. The idea was that he would go and hunt for some ducks in the pond he saw in front of him. So he began to paddle his canoe out to try to reach those ducks, but as he did so, a big wind blew him back to shore. Agama Pamibia, Wigwa Olek, Kanwa Kin Lom Sin, Guagwana Agama Sin He tried this Pazok Nis Nas Yao times. Agama Guagwazo Yo one, two, three, four. Da. And each time the wind blew him back, he was very unhappy, so he went right to the lodge where his grandmother and he lived together. Kanwa Kin Lom Sin Mina Ta. Agama Pomosat Wigwomak Udzi Okamasa. He said to her grandmother, I want to know what makes the wind blow. Nokamas Awani Ulito Ulom Sen. His grandmother said, Nda plus komba, I don't think I should tell you because whenever I tell you something you get in trouble. No talker and da and lao damu and nia kidi hlon kia ni kia pali yin. But Glus Komba sat down in front of her and said, Tell me why the wind blows, tell me why the wind blows, tell me why the wind blows, tell me why the wind blows. His grandmother saw he was so stubborn, he would just keep saying that, and so she told him what made the wind blow. She said, there is a great bird on top of the tallest mountain. When he flaps his wings, it makes the wind blow. But how would I find the place where that wind eagle stands? That is good, said the talker. His grandmother said, I'm not sure I should tell you that. But Glus Gomba sat down, took a deep breath, and his grandmother said, All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> so Glus Gomba did as she said, which was to face into the wind and always walk facing the wind. He went across the fields, through the forest, up the hill to the mountaintop. That wind blew so hard, it blew off all his clothes. It even blew all the hair off his head. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> And there was the wind eagle on top of that mountain. But he could go no further because the wind was too strong. So Glus Gomba called out, Grandfather! Ma home! And the wind eagle stopped flapping his wings and said, Who called me grandfather? Awani Lui Nia Ma home. Glus Gomba stood up and said, I did, Grandfather. I came up all this way to tell you um, you do a really good job of making the wind blow. <laughs> but I think you could do a better job on that other mountain over there. And I will carry you over there. So Glus Gomba went down the mountain and took a basswood tree's bark and made it into a strong carrying strap. Ni. 
he wrapped it around the wind eagle, picked him up and said, Grandfather, now I'm going to take you to a better place. Agama kalabido ni watsusen ta padon agama. But as he walked along, he dropped the wind eagle in a crack between the mountains. Agama benita sin, wakta sin, kazigapskazo, nansawiwi wadzoikok. I said, ah, now it is a good day to go hunt ducks. <laughs> he went back down the mountain, back down the hills, back through the trees, back across the fields. And when he got there, by the time he got there, all his hair had grown back, and he put on new clothing. And he began to paddle out to hunt ducks, but as he did so, he noticed it was very hot and still. And there was foam all over the water. It was hard to breathe. It was not a good day to hunt. So he went right back to the lodge of his grandmother and said, Grandmother, what is wrong with the world? It's hot and still. It's hard to breathe. I'm covered with sweat. What is wrong? Agama pedigo wigomek uzi okamasata ida kagui la, kagui la, yoda li nia and da nasawen. His grandmother said, What did you do? Kagui loka. And Gluskoma said, Me? Nothing. Nia on da uzomi. She said, I know you. Tell me what you did. In wow wow mo kia kagui la. Uh, I uh, went across the fields, uh, up the hill, to the top of the mountain, found the wind eagle, tied him up and dropped him in a crack. His grandmother said, oh, glus gomba, don't you understand? We need the wind. Without the wind, the earth is not a good place. Kiwao tam, glus gomba, in datsui kin lom sen. On dao wazanam kin lom sen, yo aki on da oligan dali. So glus gomba went back outside, faced in the direction where there was no wind, and climbed to the top of the mountain. Agama losa kwazami wimi na, ta logosa son sasagosa taon lawi on da kin lom sen ui. He looked down, saw the wind eagle still stuck, thought a moment, and then called out, Uncle! The wind eagle said, Who called me Uncle? Awani Louis Nianzasis. And Klus Gomba said, It's me, Klus Gomba. What are you doing down there? Nia, the talker. Kagui kia loka nidali. And the wind eagle said, oh, Klus Komba, I'm glad to see you. A very ugly, naked man with no hair dropped me here, and I'm not comfortable. Mama sagi vi sanon ba benita sen nia yodali, nia en da nui gon damun yodali. And Klus Komba said, grandfather, I mean uncle, I will help you. Ta, the talker, ida, kama hom, indi damo in sasis, nia kawizo kamo. So he took the wind eagle and put him back on the mountain and untied his wings. But as he did so, he said, you know, grandfather, I mean, uncle, sometimes it is good there should be wind, and sometimes it is good that it should be still. Agama pedgi ponaman, agama nidali wadzok, ta ida sawi uwazonam kin lomsen, ta sawi onda uwazonam kin lomsen iwi. And the wind eagle, the wind eagle said, grandson, I understand. Ta wadzusen ida Gnosis in Wild Tom. And so the story goes. So 